everyone. We're working on Go Tell It on the Mountain, arranged by Deborah Baker Monday for the cellos. Uh, cellos, you have a really fun part here, um, but we need to remember that you need to be super secure with your notes so that it doesn't end up sounding really muddled. That's the danger when you're playing such a beautiful big instrument. Uh, when you're playing incorrect notes, sometimes they start sounding a little muddy and unclear. So the way we can avoid that is being sure of our own parts. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole thing through one time, sort of at speed, so that if you can already play the notes, you're, you can start off right away playing with me. Uh, if not, you can give it a good listen, see how it should sound, and then I'm going to break it down into three parts and play a little slower. So before we begin, I just want to remind you that we are starting with pizzicato, but we are going to switch fairly quickly to arco at bar 13. So remember that you need to be holding your bow in your hand while you pluck. To do that, you need to hold the bow with these three fingers, one, two, three, so that your thumb and your index finger are free to pluck. So here we go. I'm going to count you in because you have rest and it's important for you to know where those uh, pizzicato notes come in because we're a little bit shaky on that right now. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Twenty-eight and in bar thirty-two, you have E four times and then an E flat. Okay, so it's not E B, it's E flat. And to play E flat, if finger one on the uh, D string is an E, and we want to play E flat, we need to make it lower. So that means we put our finger behind the first tape and before the nut here. So this is E. This is E flat. Okay, so when the piece it's all right. So now, as promised, I'm going to play the parts again, but a little slower. So I'm going to start with bars one to the end of twelve. Um, just before I get started, you should practice this with the bow in your hand, even if you're only practicing that section. Um, as soon as possible. That way you get used to the feel of it. If you're still kind of trying to figure out what those notes are, I would recommend you put the bow down and figure them out. But if you already know what's going on there, practice with the bow in your hand. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. your little boogie woogie part. When you're practicing that part, just go one note at a time, okay? Uh, so what I would recommend is when you're reading, so I'm going to start in bar four, start with your open D, that's nice and easy. 
Then prepare your fingers. That means get them ready for the next note, but do not pluck until you have gotten those fingers ready. So we have open D, then we have a four on the G string. So I'm gonna play open D. I'm gonna put my fingers down on the string. Once they're down, I pluck. Then I figure out the next note. It's a three on the G string, pluck. One on the G string. Then open. Okay, so I'll go through that maybe afterwards again, but for now I'm going to move on to bars 13 to the end of 22. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. To our second ending, that's where we're having a lot of trouble, so I'm just going to play those two bars again nice and slow for you. Sorry. Two, three, four, D, D, four on G, three on G, one on G. Make sure those notes are nice and secure so that you can be solid. You're really all that's going on in that bar, so we need to be able to hear you. Now we have bar 23 to the end which is kind of a reprise of what happened in the beginning, but now instead of quarter notes, we have eighth notes. So I would recommend you play a little closer to the frog uh, so that you can get a clearer sound, all right? Um, if you're doing the eighth notes up, up at the tip, the sound becomes a little bit fuzzy. So nice and slow, and that is the way I would recommend you practice this part, nice and slow, because there's a lot going on. putting your part together with one of the with the violin one violin two viola whatever you'd like um, but make sure you're super confident with these 